Well, a good Wednesday evening. We have had some cloudy conditions out there and our temperatures have been in the 50s. It's not been too terribly bad, but a little chill to the air. But good news is this is the last day of the 50s as we start to see some 70s return. We have seen just some light isolated showers in some isolated areas today. We talked about that yesterday. I think we actually saw a little bit more than anticipated, but it's been very light and it will continue to be light over the next several hours. This will wind down as we go into early Thursday morning, and this is all associated with a warm front, which we're kind of thankful for because once the warm front lifts, we're going to start to see some warmer air finally return. Temperatures overnight tonight dipping down into the low 40s and mid 40s, and then tomorrow we'll be in the 50s by mid morning and then making our way into the 70s tomorrow evening. You can see the rain starting to lift out. Future cast showing we'll start to see some sunshine. Notice by 1 o'clock tomorrow we're in the 70s and we're going to be in the low to mid 70s. There's also a chance that we see an isolated shower or storm tomorrow afternoon as well. Not everyone will see it, but a few folks may see a rumble or see some lightning here, a little bit of rumble of thunder. And then notice on Friday as well, a shower or storm possible. Here comes our warm front. It lifts to the north overnight tonight. And then a cold front will start to approach as we get into late into probably the weekend. High pressure in the meantime is going to be in control and give us some warmer temperatures. But again, with the heat returning and a little bit of humidity. We've got a little bit of a more unstable air mass. There's also going to be the chance for a shower or storm. Rainfall amounts though between now and say Friday afternoon. So over the next 48 hours or so, we're talking less than a tenth, maybe up to two tenths of an inch of rain. Rainfall forecast is again about 40 to 50 percent chance going into the weekend. So the highest I think will be for the weekend and into maybe Sunday night and Monday. Rainfall amounts over the next seven days look to average around an inch to maybe inch and a half. And that may seem a lot, but this is more of that pop up storm variety. So isolated places may pick up a little bit more. Some folks may see just a little bit less as we go into the weekend. Notice your temperature trend. We've been showing this. Some models kind of indicating maybe a cutoff low tries to move in as we go into the early to middle part of next week. Something we'll track. I don't know if all the models are in agreement with that just yet. So right now I think we will see maybe a slight dip in temperatures next week, but I don't know if it'll be all that significantly cool as what we have seen. But upper 50s close to 60 is possible. And you can kind of see that in the upper air pattern, kind of like an upper level low kind of spinning across Tuesday and Wednesday, kind of getting cut off in the jet stream. So that may hinder our temperatures just slightly, but it won't stay chilly too long. And then notice the pollen stays in that medium to medium high category. Your seven day forecast 74 tomorrow, 77 on Friday, slight chance of a storm. And then notice for the weekend, those pop up showers and storms return temperatures in the upper 70s, 68 on Monday. And then notice we dropped temperatures down to about 62 on Tuesday. Drier weather moving in Tuesday night into Wednesday with highs in the mid to upper 60s and overnight lows are going to be mild over the next several nights in the 50s and low 60s.